Hey guys, it's Monday, September 9th. I'm just playing ball with my with Lexi at the park. See, I just threw it. She's going after it. Um, this is my update for last week. Um, I'm fully recovered from my uh, gallbladder surgery. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm all healed up. Um, it's not that sunny out, but there's um, the sun is kind of like peeking through the clouds, so I still have sunglasses on, and, I'm, and I look tired because didn't put any makeup on. I just kind of rolled out of bed and took my dog to the park. Um, we haven't been here um, since before my surgery, so I'm gonna spend a bit here today. Um, and after my surgery, I obviously couldn't take her because I was healing and in pain, but. My parents took her for walks and stuff. My little sister took her a couple times too, which is good. Um, yeah, so I brought like my music today in my bag. And Lexi's all tired out now. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm pointing it at her right, like, or whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> every time I go to pick the ball up with this, she'll try to snag it. Put it down, put it down, put the ball down, put it down. It scares the living crap out of me when we first got here. So I'm trying to film this and play ball with her at the same time. First got here, I went to throw this. What? See, I'll throw it and she's running after it, but that field that's way out there, she took off in that field and it gave me a scare. And I had to run out in that field. And I ran way past her, I couldn't see her because the grass was so tall, but I found her tail and uh, thank God. She would never run away on me, she just was curious because we haven't been here in a bit. I don't know if she picked up on the scent of other animals, but yeah, we're doing good. Um, my weight is down to 145 uh, from 288. I had my surgery on November 8th, 2012. Um, my one year post stops coming up in a couple months, so and I'm going to the meet and greet. I bought my ticket, and I know most of you, I mean, it's all sold out now. Um, I know a lot of you have bought your ticket, which is good. Um, I forget who I'm sitting at my table with. I don't really go out to coffee that much because of uh, anxiety stuff. And um, I'm usually like, I'm really horrible with plans. So like, I always say I'm gonna go and then I never end up going or something comes up. Sorry, I'm like filming at a really like weird angle. I'm just trying to get the ball from her. And she doesn't like to give the ball to me, so I constantly say like, put it down, put it down, give me the ball, give me the ball, put it down. Maybe if I just, oh, she doesn't, okay, she put, oh god, it's disgusting, it's full of slobber. Um, yeah, so, I'm down like half my body weight, which is insane. Never thought I would be here, ever. And I'm pretty sure these people in these houses right back here are watching me filming and are like, what the, what the heck is she talking to? But, <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me, because... My, uh, I usually film from my, iP my iPad, which is over there playing my music, but put it down. Um, my speakers on my phone are kind of messed up, so hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, then uh, I'll have to redo another video from my iPad, which would suck because holding that thing up is kind of heavy. And that would look really weird in the park holding my iPad up. <laughs> but yeah, um, I started school last week and uh, it, it was okay. Uh, as you know, I have like severe anxiety and my first week they gave us a presentation that was due Friday so got the like because we had a long weekend so first day of class was on Tuesday and then that day I got an assignment and it was a group presentation and it was due on last Friday so that was very very scary um, thank God it was a group presentation um, if it wasn't a group presentation I wouldn't have done the whole oral presentation in front of the class because there's no way in hell I'm doing it in front of the class all by myself as of right now. So even with my group, there's five of us, but my one group member couldn't make it. So I ended up reading her part and I pretty much did, wrote the whole presentation up. Um, it was just really, really, really uh, nerve wracking. I'm just going to sit down because Lexi's sitting down here, so hopefully she's tired now. Um, yeah, so, uh, my weight is at 145 from 288, that being my highest. I've lost half my body weight, pretty much. 
Feels great, doesn't it, Lexi? Yeah. Um, another cool thing, I was offered a spot on my uh, college uh, soccer team, which is intense. Um, I didn't even try out. Um, some girls that I've played with growing up uh, told the coach that they know the goalie and they played with me their entire life, like competitively and all this stuff. And put it down, Lexi. And um, he's been emailing me and he asked me to come to the tryout. I told him I just got over surgery and uh, I was still healing, so I couldn't. I, there's no way I could have jumped right back into it because they were doing 5K runs every other day, and then the other other days were just uh, dribbling around with the ball and scrimmaging games and drills and stuff like that. And there's no way I can go from like losing all of this weight so fast into uh, running 5Ks and keeping up with the rest of the team, which, by the way, have been practicing all summer. So there was absolutely no way I could have been able to jump right into that because I would have died. Um, so I told him I couldn't, and then he emailed me again saying, well, why don't you just come out to the tryout? We're short a goalie. We need a keeper and all this stuff. And I'm just like, listen, I'm sorry. Like, I can't this year. Swamped with school. I really need to get my school in order first before I decide to do any team sports. And they're really really competitive like they go to BC and it's like all paid for and all this stuff and I would have loved more than anything to play because I've been playing soccer my entire life and I'm really really passionate about it and uh, I told him like he's got an indoor team too so I told him you know like come winter time I would love to try out for your indoor team but it's only like seven on seven compared to like he only takes seven players compared to now where he's taking 20, so you really have to prove that you want to be one of those seven. So, um, I'd like to try out for that. Ugh, bugs. And if I decide not to do that, I'm definitely going to do some type of, like, indoor, um, for fun. And then I want to try out for his outdoor team next year. And then I started getting, after telling him no twice, I got these emails saying I owed... $180 for the tracksuit. I owed $50 for the sweater for the school because I was on the team and then they had listed the roster and my name was on the roster and I was like, I haven't even met this guy. I haven't even been out to the tryouts. All I know, I know a few girls on the team and he just didn't like taking no for an answer. So I'm flattered, but um, it's just not a good time right now. So um, yeah, that's all that's new with me, guys. Um, I have to go because I'm gonna go continue to throw the ball around for this little shithead here. I don't know. I can't. I can't ever tell if I'm pointing this at the camera or at Lexi. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good week.